With Russia facing a shortage of 2 S7 Pion howitzers and 203mm shells, the possibility of deploying North Korea's M1978-1989 Koksan 170mm self-propelled artillery alongside Russian forces has become increasingly likely. The Koksan, although using a smaller caliber, offers comparable range to the 2 S7 Pion, making it a feasible substitute for Russia's depleted long-range artillery units. The M1978 Koksan artillery systems, developed by North Korea, have proven their effectiveness for long-range bombardment, striking fixed positions up to 40 kilometers away with standard rounds, and up to 60 kilometers with rocket-assisted projectiles. While the 170mm shells of the Koksan are smaller than the 203mm shells used by the 2S7 Pion, they still pack significant destructive power, making them useful for Russia's artillery-based strategies which rely on continuous bombardments. The Koksan is mounted on a modified Type 59 tank chassis, with the standard turret removed and replaced by an armored plate. The gun is positioned at the rear of the vehicle, which helps absorb recoil during firing. The chassis provides some protection against small arms fire, though it offers limited resistance to direct hits. This mobility and design make the Koksan a valuable tool for Russian forces in need of long-range fire support. However, Integrating the Koksan into Russia's artillery arsenal presents challenges. The 170mm caliber used by the Koksan is uncommon in Russia's supply chain, which is mainly stocked with 152mm and 203mm rounds. To make this work, Russia would need either ammunition supplies from North Korea or to establish a separate logistics network to support the artillery. This could expose critical supply lines to disruption. Additionally, Russian troops would require training to operate the North Korean artillery systems, which are less automated than Russian models. This could impact their operational efficiency, especially in high-intensity combat. Another major concern is the threat of counter-battery fire. Ukrainian forces, armed with NATO-supplied radars, drones and precision-guided munitions, have proven highly effective at targeting Russian artillery. The Koksan, if deployed, would likely face similar risks requiring strategic positioning and defensive measures to minimize losses. Beyond the battlefield, the potential deployment of North Korean artillery would have significant geopolitical implications. For North Korea, supporting Russia is an opportunity to strengthen ties with a major global power, potentially in exchange for economic aid or military technology. However, such a transfer could violate United Nations sanctions on North Korean arms exports, bringing increased scrutiny and potential sanctions. For Russia, using North Korean artillery could temporarily offset the losses of its 2S7 Pion systems, but it would also internationalize the conflict, involving North Korean equipment in a European battlefield. The situation underscores the importance of counter-battery capabilities for Ukraine and its allies, who would need to adapt to this new threat. As the situation unfolds, the global defense community will closely monitor how the deployment of North Korean artillery affects the course of the war and the broader geopolitical landscape. Thank you.